Okay, Amy, I'm going to start this one a little bit late. Uh, I feel like I need better light. Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you on how to use essential oils in the three different ways that you use them. So the first one is aromatically. So aromatically is using the essential oils in the diffuser, in our hands, just it's inhaling the essential oil. And the benefits of this are the number one, the room gets cleaned, the area in our house or wherever we're diffusing gets cleaned. It smells good and any pathogens in the air might, might be eliminated so for example if you have um, or also if you have like any scratch that so for example if you have um, you know if, if you're cooking fish and it really smells you know diffusing lemon or another delicious smelling oil will help eliminate those odors another benefit to aromatic use is it helps our respiratory passages open up if we are using, if we have like congestion in those areas. So a different way to use aromatically is in the diffuser. We can put a drop of essential oil in our hand. So just a drop in our hand. And then we can cup our fist together and we leave it open and we just inhale it to get those benefits. Usually when using essential oils um, and you want to get the benefits that the mood and the mind and mood are affected, you need to smell the essential oil for at least 30 seconds to a minute. So how the essential oils work when we inhale them in our brain is we have this um, receptor system in the, in, at the part of our nose inside. It's called the olfactory system. And when we inhale something, it helps anchor memories, uh, create memories, shift um, chemical responses in the brain to create mood enhancement or mood shifts. So when, for example, we have, um, when, when we smell something, it can trigger a memory. So for example, if we think of freshly baked bread, we may think, oh, when mom made fresh baked bread, that reminds me of that smell or that time. So we can use smell to help anchor memories as well. But also when it, it's very powerful when shifting the mood and usually shifting from dark to lighter moods. And there's more on that in the, in the dark mood, in the mood topic. Scratch that. And there's more on that in the mood, um, emotional components in the videos that you can watch in the, the last. Scratch that. I'm trying to collect my thoughts here. And you can learn more about mood in the videos below discussing essential oils and how they shift the mood. The second way to use essential oils is topically. So they can be used very, very beneficial on cuts, bruises, scrapes, burns, aches, pains, all of that. And then topical application is the best. So if you have a sore neck, you can use essential oils to help decrease tension, for example. There are two ways to use it topically. The first way is diluted. When we use essential oils diluted, because they're volatile, the, the the benefits can dissipate into the air. When you dilute it, it really helps that oil stay localized and um, last longer in that local area. The second way to use it is neat, which is undiluted. Typically, I recommend everyone use essential oils diluted until you get really, really, really comfortable with an oil and that you feel confident enough to use it neat on your skin. So always diluting. Um, and essential oil is best uh, until you're very confident in an oil. There are certain oils that are hotter that you would never use neat, um, and I recommend you do your research on those. The third way to use essential oils is internally. So this, this discussion has been up for debate for, for many years in the essential oil world, and um, if you go into the Why doTERRA 
portion, it will explain a little bit more on the detail of the chemistry behind the essential oils that doTERRA is creating or that doTERRA is sourcing and the testing they are doing to create these essential oils that are so powerful and so pure and so easily and readily available internally in the body. They, 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 the body really responds to them well. And doTERRA is also leading the internal studies of essential oils. And these are approved studies. So these, these studies are going into great depth and detail and there's many published studies. So if you look into the why doTERRA and into the science behind some of that, you will see a lot of internal studies done on essential oils and why that, that model is changing. Now, I do caution on essential oil and internal use. I personally would only use doTERRA because I know what's in that bottle. I know it's not contaminated or adulterated. And those are two different things that, that happen in the essential oil world that we as consumers don't always know about. And that's why doTERRA goes through those testing. So to use essential oils internally, first think, what is the purpose? Why am I going to be using this essential oil? Is it because I have a sore foot? No, you don't need to use it internally. Maybe it's because you have a sore tummy. Then you might think of, consider of internal use as an option. You can also use it topically. So we think of internal use as something that's going to benefit or aid the body or support the body in some way internally, whether that's frankincense under the tongue, whether that's um, digest and or zengest in a drop of water to help your tummy discomfort, anything like that. Then you want to look at that internal application. There is a new essential oil that is for internal application. Um, it is called Yarrow Palm. This, this, I have the version that does not have the dropper top, but this is going to be coming out in two months with a dropper top. And so that dropper is for internal use. This is Yarrow essential oil mixed with pomegranate, um, pomegranate oil. Pause that. This is yarrow essential oil mixed with pomegranate um, grape seed ex pomegranate. I don't even know what that is. Pomegranate seed oil. Okay. <laughs> Restart. Here's a pause. This is yarrow palm oil. So it's yarrow essential oil with um, pomegranate seed oil. And it is specifically used for internal use. It's also very good for the skin. So you can put a drop into your skincare and put that on but you can divulge more into the learning about this oil as you continue researching oils. So I hope that has helped you. Three ways to use essential oils, aromatically, topically, and internally. There's so many benefits to use them in all three different ways, and I hope you find um, amazing, blah, blah, blah. So those are the three different ways to use essential oils, aromatically, topically, and internally. And I hope you found this video helpful in your oil education. See you guys.